As a filmmaker and photographer, a lot of what we do relies on our ability to be able to get out there and explore, to experience new things, see new places, meet new people, and fall deeper and deeper in love with this incredible world every single time we get to capture it, in whatever medium that is. And unfortunately, for reasons that I'm sure all of you are aware of, at least for the immediate future, that is no longer a possibility for any of us. But thankfully for you, and thankfully for me, there's a form of art that is blowing up on social media at the moment, and that is digital art. An art form that can have you swimming with sharks without even leaving the comfort of your office. My name is Tom Noski, and I'm a freelance filmmaker, photographer, and digital artist based out of Melbourne, Australia. But digital art has always been the art form that drew me in the most. Having the ability to express my creativity without restrictions, to create exactly what I see in my mind is what I love most about this art form. To take an image and turn it into something completely completely out of this world is like no image I could ever capture. To excite the younger Tom somewhere still in me, this is my Neverland. A way to let my creativity run free and have the world be exactly the way my imagination wants it to be. And the best part of it is you can still do it right now. Even with all the restrictions, even stuck at home, you can do it right here from your computer, in your office, in your room, wherever you are, you can do it right now. Why not use this time to level up your skills? Take advantage of this period that we have so when you come out of it on the other side, you have new abilities, new skills, new talents, and you've leveled up as a creator. So, in collaboration with Canon Australia, I thought I'd bring you guys three Photoshop hacks that I use on just about every single one of my images. They're hacks that you guys can begin to implement in your time in isolation over the next few weeks and begin to get a little bit better with Photoshop. Maybe you've got an old hard drive sitting on your desk over there or on your shelf and all it's doing is picking up dust but there are countless images on there that you've never really known what to do with. Well hopefully a couple of these hacks will allow you to begin to use those images appropriately. Hack number one is a technique that I'm going to call composition hacking. Maybe you've got a coastal image that looks amazing but doesn't quite fill the frame the way you want it to. Or maybe you had the incredible opportunity to fly in a hot air balloon over the sand dunes in Dubai but the images you took don't don't quite capture the drama or the intensity of those sand dunes. So you want to add a little bit of oomph to those images. Well, throw your image into Photoshop, select the marquee tool over here and select an area of the image you'd like to accentuate. Maybe it's the mountains in a shot like this or the sand dunes in a shot like this. Once you're happy with the area you've selected, hit Command C on the keyboard and whilst holding Shift, select and drag the area stretching that particular part of the image. And there you go, the days of throwing out an image because of a crappy composition are over. Hack number two is the gradient tool, or as I like to describe it, the one-click sky replacement tool. <laughs> Everyone loves a sky replacement, but not all sky replacements are made equal. Some sky replacements turn out fantastically, and some turn out horrifically. <laughs> There's a technique that I like to use whenever I'm using Photoshop, or whenever I'm editing an image, or whenever I'm doing anything in Photoshop, and that strategy is if I have the opportunity to keep anything from the original image, or keep anything from a real image, then I will. If you're able to keep the real thing, why would you replace it with something that's not real? That's always been my opinion with Photoshop and the results always turn out far better. To do this, all you're going to do is place the new sky below your image that you would like to replace the sky on and add a layer mask to your image. Once you've done that, go ahead and select the gradient tool by hitting G on your keyboard. Now whilst holding shift, you're going to drag from the top of the image to the horizon line, creating a nice even gradient and revealing the sky beneath it. Here are just a couple of examples of how I've used this or where I've used this in all of my images. Hack number three is a color changing strategy that I use to manipulate the colors in my images and create some really dramatic effects. This one is nice and simple. Say I've got this beautiful portrait that I shot a couple weeks back before we were all stuck inside and I want to change the greens to be a little bit more of a different color. All you have to do is go to your adjustment layers and select selective color. 
From here, you can go to the green tab and move the slider according to what you would like to change. If you want to make some more intense changes, you can go ahead and mask out the area you don't want to be affected using the brush tool and then continue to make changes that won't affect your subject. I've used this technique in just about every single one of my portraits in some way, shape or form and it creates an incredibly dramatic effect and it's honestly a tool that I am shocked more people don't use. Here are a couple examples of how I've used this in the past. So those are the three hacks. I hope you enjoyed this short, simple tutorial. I wanted to give you guys something valuable, but short and sweet so you can go off and start creating again. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we have a very unique opportunity right now. It's not very often as a creator, it's not very often as a filmmaker or a photographer that you get the opportunity to genuinely slow down and reconsider everything you're doing. I myself run a video production company from this room <laughs> right here where I shoot mostly sports and fitness related content as well as weddings and a little bit of corporate and that consumes a lot of my time but in reality I love doing this. I love teaching, I love talking to camera and I love making YouTube videos and now I have this unique opportunity where I'm not getting hired to shoot boxing matches. I'm not getting hired to shoot anything. I'm able to put my time into doing this. So if you're anything like me, if you've been in a position where you kind of wanted to do that, but you didn't have the time, this is a very amazing and very unique opportunity for you to take advantage of. Again, thank you very much to Canon Australia for having me on. I really appreciate it. If you want to see any more of my work, my name is Tom Noski and I'm Tom Noski everywhere online. If you did enjoy this video, do us a favor by leaving a comment, leaving a like and until next time I'll see you guys later.